SPIE presents the Advancing the Laser series, honoring 50 years of laser achievements. So my name is Scott Keeney. I'm CEO and uh, co-founder of Enlight. We manufacture high-power semiconductor lasers. How important is basic research to the laser industry? Yeah, I think basic research is, is vital. And, um, and I think that is an issue for us as a nation to address. If you look at uh, the laser in particular, and the work done, say, at Bell Labs, uh, where some really fundamental research was done years ago um, that we effectively take for granted today, uh, especially you look in the telecom market, um, and um, lasers are critical for the bandwidth that we all use today. And, you know, the challenging thing with basic research is no one could have predicted where that work would have gone back then. Um, yet the benefits are profound for all of us, and, and I think we've lost sight of that a bit. Um, and obviously budgets are tight, etc., but I do think that, that basic research is, is vital for the nation. And indeed, lasers are sort of a poster child for um, a lot of that work, and, um, and we're certainly thankful for it. Is there a Moore's Law for laser development? Yeah, I think with respect to semiconductor lasers, we are following uh, something akin to Moore's Law. Um, we have seen about an order of magnitude improvement in semiconductor lasers uh, about every mm, six to eight years um, along various dimensions of power, efficiency, the brightness, cost, and uh, those improvements um, are what are leading to the growth in the industry. Uh, and that was the reason that we started Enlight. We saw the opportunity for the semiconductor laser to be um, you know, really one of the fundamental engines of growth in the laser industry. Um, and so no one's come up to uh, you know, call it um, something by their name, and certainly I'm not going to do that today. Uh, but uh, it is a fundamental uh, shift in the technology that then is driving new opportunities. And we've seen you know, ups and downs. Uh, the telecom bubble was an, an extraordinarily large up that uh, crashed horribly. Um, the latest uh, you know, global recession has been tough for, for most companies. But I think underneath that, there is a sort of secular trend of continued improvement, which is leading to new applications. And, and that's what we're excited about. That's what we're focused on. Where do you think the greatest potential lies for applications of lasers? I see potential in it really all of the markets uh, for lasers. Um, and I suppose some of the ones that, that I think are, are quite extraordinary. One is in medical applications. I think we've really only started to see the applications there. If you look at most of the applications in, in medical lasers, they're really based on some relatively old uh, laser technology. And so the, now that the researchers have some new technology and are seeing what you can do, um, they're really catching up. Although I think um, things are improving so rapidly on lasers that, that there's still a lot of opportunity there. Um, and I think medical applications will be one of the most interesting applications in lasers. Um, and, and certainly one of the most rewarding areas too. Um, in uh, material processing applications, I think those are maybe less accessible for people, but they're equally profound. Um, so whether um, a car part is being welded or cut, um, or uh, new applications in the solar industry, um, lasers have been used um, across a wide range of different industries. What's the process of innovation and product development like at Enlight? So the new technologies, new products that, that we develop um, come from both interest from end customers um, and from ideas that are generated internally. And I think that's what makes lasers and a lot of high technology really interesting, that you have to look at both market pull and technology push. And I've seen both um, occur. Uh, and, um, and that's what makes the industry actually, um, I think, quite exciting. So for somebody who's developing a laser, um, they, there's a lot of interesting and tough problems to solve on the technology front. Uh, and then there's just a wide range of different potential applications to think through. And that business judgment is something that's, that's, that's vital um, uh, to run in parallel 
to the technology development. So it's, it's, it's really both technology push and, and market pull. Would you talk about Enlight's efforts to help foster science education? In addition to being a startup company, we um, have also established uh, a nonprofit startup uh, here um, in our region where we go out and work with local high schools to try to encourage more students to take rigorous science and math classes and to help them through those classes and, and help guide them on the way. Uh, it's called NConnect, connecting students to uh, future careers. And uh, we have found that to be extraordinarily rewarding and I think it's something that I'd like to see the industry do more of. Um, I think there's a great need for, for help in our schools. I think we're all familiar with the uh, the gaps that we see in especially um, U.S. high school education. Um, but I think that gap actually can be closed and um, I think that um, you know, um, industry can really help in that. And that's what we've seen. Uh, and I think I would, I'd like to encourage more in the laser industry to get involved in your community, um, to partner with schools, and, uh, and be happy to help anybody who's interested in doing that too.